Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my presence. Um, yeah, so I was going to broadcast this to like force myself to upload it because it would be uploading as I'm broadcasting, but um, I got to like log in to YouTube and I don't remember my login ID. And um, yeah, so we're going to pretend like oh, this is live. Um, you know, it's probably better that way that people don't hop in and like expect me to notice that they joined um yes so what we're gonna do today is start from almost scratch um i'm gonna cheat a little bit but um we're gonna remake this little short track little little I don't know, medium whatever it is a little oval um i call it lightning raceway god it's terrible look at this man look at that grandstand it's garbage um yeah, so I want to show like how I do my stuff. Um and also I kind of want to rebuild this. Somebody asked if I was going to update it and um yeah, that said I need to remember to get out of this. This is a PS4 version. Um so we're going to rebuild it, make it uh make it a little better. I don't know, I haven't been on the surface in a while, so I don't know how good or bad it is. Um, the thing about this track, it's pretty narrow, so that's what I'm going to try to... This isn't bad. It's not great. Yeah, okay. So, um, anyway, let's get to work real quick. I want to... How many props are here? Of course. Um, I just want to see. It's... Jeez, it's only three lanes? We're going four um, when we rebuild it because three is just too... It's too narrow, man. Like, I get there's guys out there that like racing on the... the narrow lanes, but... Uh, so specific and, uh, you know, this th this track is good enough. If you're, if you're into that, then, uh, yeah. So, let's get out of here. And start up a new race. Alright, so I'm going to I'm gonna use my template. I'll uh, show you guys how to do it, um, but I I don't want to sit here forever. Like, luckily I figured out that you really don't need to build the full thing. You just need to build like as wide as you're gonna go. Maybe 15 props per template, less some. Uh, anyway, w let's check it out. One sec. I'm addicted to nicotine. And I don't want you guys to hear that little pshhh. It's fine if I do it, but it's not okay if it's a little electronic device. Alright, so let's just start up here. Um, I'm going to use my 30s. The 30 degree props. How are they oriented? Spin it. Come on now. All right. Thank you. I'm just gonna work here in the airport. Um, it's fine. Okay. So, luckily this template still has 
the guide piece showing what's going on. Um, so I'll describe essentially what is happening. Each of these pieces are laid so that they're flat, flattened, normal out, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and then I rotated it on the Y axis um, by one degree. So it builds a ramp. You know, I'm not even going to lay one because it's just I don't want to do it. Um, yeah, but I'm trying to teach, so... All right. All right, you guys. Yeah, so let's get our track. Track down 30. Okay, so... I think this is, uh, this is 15, 16, 17, 18. This should be 19. All right. So we're going to use world alignment. So there's absolute, and half of 30 is 15. 360 minus 15 is 345. Thank you. All right, and this should be 19 degrees. All right, 180, 161, come on. Give me 161. Okay. Which way is the X? That way? Okay, cool. Okay, so what we're going to want to do is bring Just meet under that little line. That's good enough. Um, I think I what I what happened. See how I've got my one degree. I'm off. Like this this guide piece is misaligned to the left. Um, a couple thou. So what it needs to do is push back to be perfectly in there, but the key is whenever you pick your alignment, just be consistent. So um, what we're going for is to have the plane of the curve piece, that curve, the flat part, meet up with the flat part there. Um, without getting too deep into math that I don't really understand, um, Euclidean geometry and all that, circles and whatnot, uh, what we're basically doing is following the curve up that the curve goes sideways, and thereby creating a bowl, um, or more of like a Ferro Rocher wrapper than a bowl. Um, yeah, so that's what we're doing. So with that... I want to make sure that my prop that is even this way, and would be even this way if I align them like that, are, you know, snug in there, as good as they can be. I'm not going to use that red, so I'm not going to, like, super stress about it. But, yeah, it, um, you know, there's a little, there's a slight variance here and there. But I think that's because the props don't follow the normal curve, or it's because I misaligned it. Anyway, it's not going to be super noticeable. Um, it's kind of noticeable. Obviously, the better, more accurate, the more precise you get, the better your corners are going to be, and everything's based off of your corners. So, you know, it's best to be as accurate as possible so that all your lines are straight, same width. Um, yeah, so these ones are different colored because they're in increments of five and you see how they kind of like that's not me just bringing it up higher that's like the prop just 
their flush. Um, and it's weird that that happens on the fives. So, like, I don't know what's going on there. Again, I'm not a mathematician, so I'm not even going to try to figure it out, but something's up. Um, yeah, so with these 30s, they're full traction all the way across, so it doesn't really matter where you put them. Um, but with the fives and tens, you want to be careful that you don't have the edges, these guys that are low traction, sticking up through, so you would want to hide them. Um, yeah, you just place your prop, move on to the next one, do it all the way up. Um, yeah, so you don't actually need to go all the way up. You really only need... Uh, I don't know. It gets weird when you get the lower, like, between... Or under... Under under 20, under 25, it gets weird. Um... Yeah, you need more than than the width of your track, and I'll show you that in just a second. So, what I do need to do is because Doesn't matter where you put this right now. What we're doing is uh, rotating the template. So that lightning raceway, I think it's 18 degrees. It could be 20. What I'm going to do is build it uh, 18 to however wide it needs to be. Um, so this one goes up to 18. I want to kick it up. Mm, five? Is that twenty? That gives me eighteen. Let let let's go ten. That brings starts at ten. Eighteen. That should be good. If what I said to you makes no sense, that's fine. Um, just bear with me. So. This is kind of like our little guide prop. What we're going to do is make a little template. Um, let's just take the whole thing. afraid to name stuff. I don't think it kicks you off anymore, but still. And it needs to be rotated because I didn't zero out my anchor prop. That's fine though. That's fine. Alright, so use my race building to set my template rotation. Okay. Now we've got to get it at the right angle. I think it should be pitch. Yeah. Alright. And so now, we just try to match it up. Did we get it? I think... No, we didn't get it. Um, yeah, use your stick to see if it's aligned. Alright, so... There we go. Alright, so now everything is up 10 degrees. So that first prop that started at 1 is now 11. And that red is 15. Okay, so uh, I'm going to put my mic down and close my window. It's getting a little chilly in here.
<laughs> All right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's the kind of quality content <laughs> that everybody's here for. I'm gonna catch my death in cold, <coughs> y'all. <coughs> I got this cat that's just yelling. It doesn't need anything. <laughs> it just wants to yell. Alright. So. You don't need that guy anymore. <laughs> you don't need that guy. You don't need that guy. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. All right. So, let's build <laughs> our platform. Place our platform. We're not really building anything. We're just sticking something there. What I need to do is get a platform template. Maybe I'll do that later. Come on. <laughs> Thank you. All right. <laughs> so, we said we wanted to start at 18. What once was 5, now is 15. Blue must be 20. <coughs> 19, 18. <coughs> so, somewhere right in there. But where, you ask? Well, right at 18. So, we know that at the lowest point on that prop, it's rotated at 8. <laughs> the angle is 18 degrees, so that's like our known value, um, and that exists somewhere right in here, right here, that really this whole panel, that whole panel is perpendicular to the straights and rotated at our banking of 18, and you'll see that the banking increases as you go up, that's just how this works, um, it creates more oversteer so when you get down in that like that low sweet spot where you you're fighting grip um, you know on most ovals that you are probably used to you're gonna understeer you're gonna you're gonna go towards that wall right um, this is gonna spin you out so it's uh, I don't I, I mean for traffic, I feel like understeer is preferred um, because you know if somebody can't can't hold it, then they're going outside. Um, you know they're going outside. Now with this, like there's very uh, non-linear curve to the grip, and you'll spin out pretty quick. So. You know, it's not great. It, it does send you down inside, so, you know, inside, outside, whatever. Um, point is, this is just how it works, and the reason that you're building this way is because you need to cover um, a lot of distance with few props. Um, once you get into, like, the lower radiuses, then, you know lower banking, lower radius, then arguably, I think, swing arm technique or, or uh, z-axis rotation uh, is probably better, but... Yeah, um... So... That's just, that's what we're going with. So, where are we at? Mm, that's right, this happened at the last track. I probably should do 19, just so that I have that other, or I could redo the template. Honestly, I think it'll be fine. It should, it should match up pretty good well um anyway so let's start uh let's start laying in our transition turn one transition also turn three um so we're not we don't need all that we're going four wide let's just get rid of the 
trim the fat real quick. Shoot, we're doing four, so we only need the four. That's useful. Thank you. Okay, so... Yeah, close enough. And about there. All right, so we can we can be safe getting rid of uh, that, that, uh, all that. Let's see, we didn't need that red one, or we didn't need to rotate it so high. Anyway, that's what we got. That's nice. It's not too many that we need to work with. Um. All right, so, no. What we need is a stunt runway. All right. So, let's just that bad boy. Oh yeah, that's that'll give us an idea of how wide. Whatever, it's good enough. It's just there. We're gonna grab it. It's um, it's clean Z rotation. So when I want a new prop, I just pick up this, drop it, and then I have a prop rotated at uh, the Z value that I want. So. Uh, what colors are we working with down there? Hmm. Let's just use red. Let's use... Let's... Alright, first let's get a... Nah. It's fine. I was going to say I'm going to build a platform template because it's useful. I don't have one on... I need... Um, you watch. Later in this video I'm going to need another platform and I'm not going to have it. It's going to be a pain in the ass. I'm going to have to build the template. But anyway, um, yeah, let's just use blue. Okay, so we know that our banking is rotated at the beginning at 18 degrees. It's 162. Um, and let's pick, well, we don't need to pick a value. Um, kind of we do. I'm going to go down to three degrees, I think. I don't know. I want to use, I want to make some concentric circles, so I want to make sure that I have enough. Um, I'm either going to go to three or four degrees. We'll see. We'll see where it ends up. We'll see how it is looking coming off of the transition. All right. So my point is, we're gonna go from you know flat-ish up to the banking. So we know that one of our transition pieces needs to meet the angle that our corners are banked at, and that's 18 degrees. So at some point, this should match up. Now you see that circle going on over there. We want to find where it is just there it is. The question though is if I go to 15. Does that... Ooh, that gets way better. What about 214? 211? Mm, no, but see, that's not better. Because then we're going up. 215. So, 
to 17? Where does that give us? Is that corner poking up? Yeah. This corner starts poking up. So 217 isn't going to fly. I think 216. It's probably 216.5. Or some, some variable. But, you know, we're not super worried. Like, that's... That's pretty close. Um, where do I want this to... Right where it starts. So yeah, right at that that line. Um, I think that should be good. So we're going to go with that. Uh, let's go up because up is more relevant to understanding what we're doing. All right, so 18, this will be 19 degrees. And we should want to rotate. Two sixteen, two seventeen, one degree. Yeah. Yeah, so what we're looking at, let's do this. Um so if we're looking at those squares like this right here. We know that because the angle that this red part is making is so steep cutting into it that it's got to be pretty flat. Um, I don't necessarily like that I came up that high over there on that one. I think that might be introduction of a bump. We probably needed to come up higher on the blue. So let's put this red here. going on right here is going to be less impactful than okay so interesting just looking at the lines as they splay out all right, so 18, 19, this will be 20. I remember what the other one 216, 217, 218. Does that make sense? Okay, so the other one's going to cut into it a little bit if it's following the same kind of pattern. So I'm going to bring it up. Ooh, that's right about here. I think that's probably good. This will be 21. To 18 maybe? Let's see where that takes us. Not enough. Oh 
yeah, this would be 19. Mm. Okay, so... Covered on the bottom. That's probably good. This will be 22. This should be as high as we need to go. This be 220. Do we remember what we did just 10 seconds ago? Can we hit 220? Thank you. You see, I'm not really like paying attention to what's going on with where they're going. I'm going where they are supposed to go, um, where they fit. So I only want to cross like one plane. When you cross two, then you're doing two transitions. It becomes uneven. So um, anyway, 23, 57. Man. I walked up to Dairy Queen a little bit ago because I wanted a cheeseburger. And guess what? They were closed. I didn't get my cheeseburger. Uh, yeah, 221, that makes sense. That's good. And we'll go ahead and check our distance after we lay this one. Yeah. Yeah, that should be way more than enough. Oh yeah. That will do. Do we even need the red one? We didn't really need it, but we'll keep it. Okay, so we've got... Um, essentially our transition onto our corner. Now we just have to ramp back down. Um, so what I recommend... Uh, let's see how, how these fit. Fits pretty good. Looks about right. Just kind of a guide. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect, you know. I, I mean, you're striving for perfection, obviously, but there's just, it's, you know, you'll get there. But, short of sitting down with an Excel spreadsheet, figuring out the angles of every single prop that you've got to place, you're only going to get so good. So, I personally feel comfortable using this kind of, this as a guide. So what I'm going to try to do is kind of keep that little, that little radius. You see it's already funky. Um, and so what that's going to do, it's just going to... You know, it, it's going to be off a little bit. But that's life, man. Life is just off a little bit. And, you know, the best you can do is try to make things fit. So, yeah, give me one sec. I'm going to grab some coffee. I should have prepared for all this stuff. But, you know, I don't stream, you guys. This is... This is what you're getting. 
So, one sec. So, it's kind of a lot of props to do one degree, but I kind of want to do... Nah, man, that's for me to do <coughs> some other time. This will be totally fine. My go-to is two degrees on the X. degrees on the Y. So 18 brings us down to 16. Something seems, that's 14. That's 16. Something still seems off. Rotate the wrong way. 216. Right? I need to come this way. 14. Why you no work? Because that's 18. That's 16. 16, 214. Now things are working. Okay. Okay, so. What we want to do is follow our little perimeter line. Yeah. That'll that will work. Remember, we're rotating two degrees on the X. Uh, we need that platform. We're gonna need that platform. And there's a fly. There's always a fly. I'm about to beat the shit out of this fly. Buzzing around me like... Like, I won't resort to chemicals to kill you. Stupid fly. Alright, so this is going down to 212. What are we doing on time? We'll take a break at an hour. And by break, I just mean I'll pause the video. I'm going to keep, keep plugging. I told myself I was going to do this. I want to do it, so do it. But, um, how high up do we need to go? Is that probably good? That's probably good. So I just recently started using these, uh, following the guides. Before I was just kind of like eyeballing the curve. It was way off. I mean, you saw before that uh, last track. Oh, let's do here. This looks better. Hey, what do what? 10? 10 degrees?
Does that make sense? That doesn't seem to make any sense. It must. So this should be 214, but what is it? 212. So that's wrong. Okay. What did we do? Seems very familiar. All right, well, double check your work. not really sure of is why it does this like double wide thing maybe maybe I did need that other piece and that it's not rotated it has to be rotated right because we looked at it we did 216 and that cleared the tip of the prop yeah, so it had to be, so, okay, we're good. The blue piece is definitely good. The 18 degree piece. The 17 degree piece, or rather it's 16 degrees. It's following the curve on the inside, so it's just, I guess it's just, it pops up faster. I don't, I'm not sure what we've done. Oh, right, because it wants to keep going that same sort of natural curve that we see with the blue and reds, it wants to keep going down below, but it can't because it has to extend on it a straightaway, and that's the whole point of the transition. So that's why it's uh, 
it looks like it's getting tighter. It's ramping up faster down here than black, white, and gray. I can get behind that. And it makes sense that it would kind of like flatten out hip here where the curve of the corner is. And it could be that because the radius is tighter than I'm used to working, that I should be rotating a different value. But, you know, there's a lot of stuff going on that this should be good. All right, let's change the color. Well, we know that was 12 degrees. This will be 10. Yeah, um, if you are using one of these guide props, make sure it's flush if it's going to be covering up. So like use the outside like I'm doing, just kind of eyeball the, the gap. See, now we've got some other weird nonsense going on. Probably because... Let's put it right in the middle. Probably because this guide piece is it's like 7.5 degrees per rotation, so it's not going to be dead even. I might go back and raise up that white, or drop down that white. Sort of, nah, I don't know. We'll drive it and see how it feels. It should be fine. Alright, so that was 10, this will be 8. Oh, we had it. We were on it. Two of six. Bam! Who's next? I'm gonna, I'm gonna follow the guide. I'm gonna follow the guide. I don't like that white piece. But once we pave it, nobody's gonna be able to tell. It's fine. Hide your crimes. Okay. Why did I grab that one? I didn't want the red one. I want these. I want to pick up one of those. Because that has my value saved. I can just remember one value. Alright, so that was eight. So this should be six, right? Answer me. Um. degrees. Did I already adjust the Z? Took two. Okay. So that's four degrees. Okay. At 202 degrees rotation. So 
So what we're gonna do? Ah, uh, we don't have our platform over there. It's fine. We'll fix it. Make sure. Two or two, twenty-two degrees. Twenty-two degrees. Okay. Alright, so this will be our anchor. I mean, I'm going to move it, but it's oriented 22 degrees, the same as this. So when we make it a template, it'll revert back to zero or we can change the angle, whatever. Um, but the straight will be perpendicular to the angle that we're laying. Anyway, we'll be able to know what what degree our straight is. And before I had been building the corners and then matching the straights up and like it worked, but it was messy and you really had to plan it out. This gives you a lot more freedom because you're building the transitions and the straight so you know your straight straight value so you can sort of like rotate it to be whatever it is you want it to be. So if you were building a trioval, you know, like uh, Talladega, the total arc is 45 degrees. So you would want to rotate 22 and a half degrees instead of at zero. Anyway, um, point is, it gives you a lot more freedom in your layout. And uh, yeah, I think it's super useful to uh, to know that. And you'll see more of what I'm talking about in a minute. We're, let's let's check where we're at on time. 52 minutes 56 seconds. So how about this? How about instead of you watching me lay the other side, I lay that real quick and then we'll come back and we'll move on to the next step. I think that sounds good. Let's do that. Alright, thanks for... Uh, I don't know if it's still recording if I'm in the menu. So yeah, thanks for thanks for sticking around. Um, next up, we're going to uh, build the two corners together, stick them together. Um, probably start figuring out the layout as well because it's going to need two props because we're using the 30s. There's so many transitions. Um, we're going up to 18 degrees. You'd really need to do two props regardless. But anyway, my point is um, we're not going to build both corners and then transfer both corners. Uh, we've also got to do our paving. So yeah, next steps will be... Um, yeah, paving. Paving and matching. Yeah, all right, cool. So anyway, um, I'll probably get both of paving and the other side done that way it sort of exists over there and yeah 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 cool this works um cool yeah so i'll see you guys when i see you guys